Hi students, 12th standard computer science chapter 6 control structures. So last class we studied loop and its types. So loop it has two types for and another one is while. Today we are going to learn about the continuation of nested loop and jump statement. So the first one what is for nested loop? So nested loop means inside the loop we use another one loop that is called nested loop that is for example a far within a far a while within an another far or while within another while or while within another far so we used one loop within another loop so that is called nested loop let us see the simple example for nested loop the first one is now we will see a far loop within while loop. Far within while. Now I assign the value i is equal to 1. Next while i less than 6. So here if the condition is true it process the another one loop. If the condition is true it process the far loop. And the next one, it checks the condition and print J. So, just to print the J value, here we used a slash T. Slash T means a tab, next line. And the next one is print Then at last, finally, just we use increment operator. That is i plus equal to 1. What is the meaning of i plus equal to 1? Just to print i equal to i plus 1. Now, what we do? The process of this program is first y i is equal to 1. 1 less than uh, 6. Condition true. So, it comes inside the loop. Here, we give the value for i 1. So, Start value 1, range value 1, then print j, just what i value, the same value. So, first time it print a value, then no other value is there. So, here it comes here, slash n, then new line. So, again it goes while loop, again it checks the condition 2 less than 6. So, it comes here, i value 2, now it checks print i. Now, we have two value in j, that is 1, 2. So, first it print 1 and slash t means tab, then you print then next it comes with the next line again now i value 3 it sets the condition condition true so 1 2 3 the next again i value it increment here only it increment that is i is equal to i plus 1 the next one up to 4 and then next 1 2 3 4 5 at last the condition 6 less than 6 here the condition false so it execute the program so the output of this program is this one so this is the example of nested loop so inside the for loop while loop we used another for loop so this is the example for nested loop then next we will start with jump statement jump statement it is used to unconditionally transfer the control from one part of program to another part of program then there are three kinds of uh, three keywords is used in jump statement that is break another one is continue and last one is pass so in jump statement we use three that is break continue pass so this is the example of uh, this execution uh, use of break and continue statement in loop structure how the break and continue statement is executed here it sets the condition condition true it comes here in, in case uh, statement one if we give a break statement it execute for the further statement of the program otherwise it continue here it, if it is not break means it continue the statement again process if, until the condition become false if the condition become false it execute the next part and next finally it comes output out that is further statement of 
program so this is the execution method for you break and continue break statement break statement terminate the loop containing it and it control the of the program flow the statement is immediately after the body of the loop if we use a while or for loop uh, it will process until the test condition is false but if we want to transfer the control out of the loop means we use with the help of a break statement it will terminate the statement then if a break statement is inside an nested loop that is a loop inside another loop a break terminate the innermost loop now let us see the syntax and working of a break statement so working of break statement enter loop and then condition if the condition is true here if we use a break statement it execute the program so here they give the x yes if if we needed did it mention a break statement means the remaining body of the loop process again it will move to the condition again it process if the condition is false automatically it executes from the program let us see the simple example for break statement for verb in so here we used um, jump statement and if verb verb equal to equal to e next one is a break the next print so this is the example for program for break statement first for uh, in words we use jump statement and if word equal to equal to e that is it checks the word one by one if the e comes means it uh, break the line and then print a word so just think about what is the output of this program so it checks with the condition j u m p jump s t a t because if the word equal to equal to e if it reach the goal automatically it breaks the line so the output of the program is jump stick s t a t so this is the example for break statement the next one is continuous statement here a continuous statement means it is unlike the break statement it is used to skip the remaining part of the loop and start with the next iteration it it continue with the next iteration the syntax of continuous statement is continue the next one is how the continuous statement is working so first see enter loop and then next as usual test expression of the loop and then next one is false block true block if true block and then next continue if the continue statement is present means yes that is it process again the next okay if no if no means it process the remaining then false means exit loop so it checks the condition and based on a condition it process so based on a condition again again process so here continue means it skip skip the remaining part of the loop and start with the next iteration so it skip one part and process with next another one part now 
let us see the example program for continue the same we used in break statement for a word in jump statement then if word equal to equal to e same it checks the e and then continue and the next one is print that word and last end of the loop now just uh, it checks with the condition here for word is jump statement word equal to equal to e continue and print the word and the end of the loop so what is the output of this program same it checks with the condition already we know that continue means it skip the part and continue with the next iteration so it comes j u m p s t a t once it comes the e it skip this line and continue with the next one again it here e so it skip with the next one and then so this is the output of the statement at last after this print here they give another one print so next new line next line so what is the next line end of the loop so the output of program is this jump state st a t m n t and end of the loop so here as you can see in the output except the letter e all the other letters get printed so this is the example for continuous statement the next one is past statement so past statement in python is null statement so past statement is executed by the interpreter it is completely ignored that is nothing happen when the past statement is executed that is it result is no operation the syntax of past statement is pass and the next pass statement is generally used as a placeholder that means when we have a loop or function that is to be implemented in future and not now we cannot develop such functions or loop with empty body segment because the interpreter would raise an error so to avoid this kind of error we can use pass statement so the next example of the past statement is for variable in computer so variable in computer and then use pass and the next one is print as usual end of the loop so the output of this program is nothing the pass statement didn't do anything so the output of this program is end of the loop so dear students today we learn jump statements and nested loop so nested loop means inside the loop we will use another one loop within a loop we will use another one loop and jump statement it has the three types pass break continue I hope you all are understand. Thank you students.